My little children's service sermon today is about sins. Um, can you guys tell me what you think a sin is? When you, when you do something bad, definitely. Do you want to add to that, or do you want anything you want to share? Well, when I was doing my homework for my sermon today, I learned that sin can be three things. It can be an action, which I think most of us think, you know, bad things are actions we do. It can be something you say, unkind words, or something that's hurtful. And I was, even this kind of refreshed me, it can also be a thought, something you think can be a sin. And um, when you have a sin, um, it's something that makes God very unhappy. So have you guys ever done anything that would make God unhappy? That's something you've done. Say that again. Not listen. Awesome. You disobey your parents. Not listen. I've done that growing up too. <clears throat> Anything else you could think of that you've done that maybe is unhappy in God's eyes? Anybody else want to help? Anything that would be a sin? Anger. Anger. Taking anger out on somebody. Saying something. Unforgiveness. Say that again. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. Think we things we should do and don't. Omission, sins of omission. Omission. Anything else we can add to our little object? Fishing instead of church. Oh, fishing. I was thinking sleeping in. <laughs> fishing instead of church. So, I wrote down some more sins that we came up with, and can you guys tell them what I was writing on? And it, what's that egg feel like? Take that egg. What's it feel like? It's sort of heavy. It has some weight to it. Would you say it's soft or hard? Hard. You want to feel the egg? Is it a nice clean egg, or is it messy now? Yeah, it's messy. It has all kinds of sins written all over our egg. So we have a messy egg now. So I want you to think about this egg, and I want it to resemble our heart. Before we have God come into our heart, it could be like this egg. It could be hard, it could be messy, it could be full of sins. And that's not something good. That's not what God wants us to be like. So, this egg also reminds me of God before we knew Jesus. And... Jesus went around, he spent most of his life talking to people about God, how much he loved them and how God wanted them to live. But Jesus didn't just live for us, he also died for us. He died for us all because all of us have done sins. We've done things that are on this egg. And God forgave us for those sins. We said, unforgiving, not listening, can't read my writing, <laughs> omission, fishing, <laughs> and all of these are sins. Could be actions, could be hurtful words, and in the Bible, God made a promise. It says in the Bible in Acts chapter 3, verse 19, that you should repent, then turn to God and say that your sins may be wiped away, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Now, God died in the cross to forgive our sins. And I'm going to peel away the shell. And when you sin, you can go to God. Now, this isn't peeling as nicely as I wanted it to. This, but those sins all go away when you ask for forgiveness. And now, if I were to give you this egg, and I'm not going to because it's going to make a mess on the floor, do you think it's still hard? No. It's nice and soft. It's smooth. Do you see any sins on there? It's a nice, clean heart. When you ask God for forgiveness, that's what happens. He gives you a nice, clean heart, and it's smooth, and this is what God wants you to do. He doesn't want you to make, Jesus doesn't want you to make God unhappy. And it's okay to make sins. We do make mistakes, but ask for forgiveness and keep God in your heart so you have a nice, soft heart. Okay, amen. That was my lesson for today.